Hey guys, so Jane here from Laser Gaming. In this video, I will be talking about Battlefield World War II and why it looks like this might be the next Battlefield game. Now, I know in the last video I said it was going to be Bad Company 3, but there was a few comments about this guy named Dak, and I came across his videos and talked to him on Twitter and stuff, and he seems pretty credible. Um, and the reason this is is because I went back and watched his video from March 2016, and he actually pretty much perfectly leaked Battlefield 1. Before I get into this, just like to say that in my last video or video or two ago, someone said that I was using shotguns and snipers and to stop doing that. Um, so basically for some of this gameplay, I'm definitely not doing that and uh, yeah. But anyways, um, before I get into this video, just like I say, if you guys want to subscribe down below for much more content on everything Battlefield 2018, Battlefield 1, Battlefield 4, and Battlefield Hardline, don't forget to click that button down below and comment what you guys think about the next Battlefield game and what it might be. Now, Almighty Dak, I'm going to link his channel down below in the description, um, but he leaked Battlefield 4 pretty much perfectly. He even had map names right um, a few months before the game was even announced. So he talked about Amiens, talked about um, Sinai Desert, he talked about all sorts of maps like St. Quentin Scar, and he talked about what the game was going to be. Um, now, he actually approached me back then asking if I wanted to put this information on my channel, and I told him I thought that he was like, basically had BS and that he was just like leaking for attention and all that stuff. Well, turns out I was completely wrong about that, um, but if you guys remember that my fans have been here for a long time, I was really against the World War I setting. Um, I thought that World War II would be better or like Vietnam would be better, um, but it looks like we're going to get that this year. So that's why I discounted him originally and I apologized to him for that when we were talking on Twitter. Um, but yeah, so basically he says that the next Battlefield will be an evolution of the current Battlefield. It will basically continue on the innovations Battlefield 1 made and be pretty much a direct sequel going into World War 2. Now, what I'd like to see is maybe from some of the campaigns, you actually follow like the kids um, or relatives of the people who are in the Battlefield 1 campaign. That would be pretty interesting to sort of give that timeline of a true sequel because um, other than the campaign, it's hard to tell necessarily if there is like a sort of running timeline between games. Um, in addition to that, he said that um, there's going to be um, weapons that are historic, but also prototypes like Battlefield 1. Um, you can pretty much count that with most historic games these days. Um, they do like to bring in the prototype weapons just to give it a cooler feel. Um, in addition to this, he said there's going to be like assignments to unlock weapons, gun bench, and all without, sorry, no gun bench, he said specifically, someone asked him, which kind of sucks. I thought Hardline's gun bench was really cool, um, and there also likely isn't going to be a competitive um, mode or like a ranked mode like we had in Hardline for the Betrayal DLC. Um, it wasn't really used that much, but it was a cool feature that I wish they would put in more Battlefield games. Um, but I think with this World War One setting, we won't get necessarily the features that we have in Battlefield 4. Um, as you can see in the gameplay here with like advanced RPGs, um, red dot sites and all that kind of stuff. Um, I hope that they do bring attachments back and they get rid of the system in BF1 because a lot of people really did not like that system. And uh, we know from like Call of Duty, for example, uh, with their World War II game, you can do pretty comprehensive attachments even in World War II, and it's not that big of a deal. Again, I just hope that they err on the edge of more customization rather than less, because it makes the game last a lot longer, and just gives it more replay value when you're able to customize all your guns and that kind of stuff. Um, in addition to this, it's going to still have 64 players. Um, I don't really think Battlefield needs to push it beyond 64 players. Um, Maybe if they were to implement a Battle Royale mode, it would have more than that. Um, but he did not mention a Battle Royale mode anywhere. Um, so I'm just going to say that that might not be a possibility. However, that could just be being worked on by a different studio in the Battlefield engine, so he might not know. Because he's specifically referring to DICE Sweden when he talks about this and the project that they're working on. Um, and so there isn't going to be like a Diffuse mode or that sort of thing like we saw in Battlefield 4. It's sort of like Search and Destroy. Um, if there is competitive, it's going to be more like a squad obliteration mode like we saw in Battlefield 4 for a bit of it. Now, again, I'd just like to say that if it is a World War II game, I really hope that DICE doesn't make the same mistakes that they made with BF1, um, because there is generally somewhat of a lack of content in these historic games, one compared to the main games, um, just because there is a lot less for them to work with. I do hope that they release DLC pretty quickly. Um, if they wait too long to release the DLC, um, like in Battlefield 1, they waited 6 months and the player count had already dropped by like 70% by that point. You really need to keep your core player base of around like 300,000, 400,000 people 
in the game and engaged with the game or else they're going to go on to another game that is releasing new content like it was with Rainbow Six Siege or Call of Duty last year. Battlefield 1, or two years ago, my bad. Battlefield 1 didn't necessarily capture, um, didn't really capture the audience like it could have and I hope that um, DICE learns from their mistakes. Now one last thing I'd like to say is that microtransactions will be in the game but they will be cosmetic only. Just a little asterisk there. Um, so again, I'm not saying that this is 100% confirmed, I'm just sort of saying that this guy leaked Battlefield 1 pretty in-depth, um, and he's saying that this is what the next game's going to be. Um, he says that he has, like, insiders at DICE who he knows who are giving him this information, and I do believe him. He used to sort of be in the competitive scene of Battlefield, so it does make sense that he would know some people over at DICE, um, or at least have some contacts over there who might be his friends or stuff that could tell him this information. Um, so I do believe this. I'm not sure if I 100% want the World War II setting. Um, I'd again be in more favor like a Bat Company 3 setting like I said in my last video, but we're just going to uh, take this with what it is. I feel like this is definitely the most credible leak we've had. Um, and yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like down below, subscribe for much more Battlefield content on everything Battlefield 2018. Hopefully we get a reveal trailer soon within the next week or so. But again, I think it's going to be at EA Play, but you know, the sooner the better, in my opinion, just for that trailer, just so we don't have to wait as long. But again, that's what we have for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.